against Jared Kennedy. Whoa! Oh! Can you hear the crowd react? Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he might be out. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he... Oh! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got it to be very bad. Cannoneer returns fire. Whoa! Oh, he might be out. News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high. Blocking his head. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press his... He's got... Are you ready? You ready? All right, so the fight is on the way. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick -em fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we've seen on film. So neither guy's in the UFC careers this I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we could put inside the octagon. They are so well rounded they have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. And he landed the right hand there. Oh! Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Good kicks there by Lee. Oh, do you believe that another head kick lands? Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end of the You got to start raising the guard and guiding that head kick down back towards your feet. You cannot take him clean and you cannot take him with one arm. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Big head kick. And a nice left hand there on the inside. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for the killer gorilla, Jared Cannonier. Again, back into this position. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Way to hide that leg kick. Back and forth we go. Lower John now starting to show signs of swelling. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. 90 seconds remain in the round. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws. It's crazy. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. All right, he'll engage in a single call. Oh, tie. man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to the position, got another beautiful takedown. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Lee gets hit with a kick. Final seconds here. Nice uppercut. Four seconds for the end of round one. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And Given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. A lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after guns and blazes. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. 
Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Right hand and a left. Punch coming, it's blocked. That left hook landed on the button. Just misses there with the left. Nice head kick. Oh, nice. Nice. Another big head kick lands. He is not seeing those head kicks coming as his foot leaves the campus. Nice kick. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. All right, so Jared Cannonier with a beautiful one-two. And really, every time you fight, you want to present a more developed, better version. That has certainly been the case every step away from him. Yeah, Cannonier was a good prospect when he entered the U.S. Now, you can see the finished product. You can see a guy that looks like one of the best middleweights in the world. He's the beast, man. He's a savage, very confident, very powerful. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with him. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. goes on. 20 seconds to go round two. Nice one, two there. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range, so suddenly he'll change his stance. Big head to land. 10 minutes in the books. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. So another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight. And we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Cannoneer's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Well, just as he did in the previous round. Combination of knees, that is... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh! He's real tricky when he throws these head kicks over and over again. Both guys really throwing with authority. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Big kick land. Beautiful head kick. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by the Alaskan Jared Kennedy. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Well, 
You see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. Might as well use it. So the numbers thus far, 111 total strikes have landed for Jared Cannon. And connecting with 46% accuracy tonight, by the way, against Jared Cannon. Whoa! What he Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he... Oh! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got to go triple her very bad. Cannonier returns fire. Whoa! Oh, he might be out. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his... Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Back to the jab now. No retaining scrap so far. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. knockout he turned in here tonight that is one they'll be talking about for some time ladies and gentlemen referee e for being has gone stop in this contest at three minutes 23 seconds of round number four going the winner by knockout 
Bruce, the Dragon. 